Hello everyone! Guess who's still playing the 1991 VG remake of Space Quest 1? No, nah, it's me. But, uh, yeah, so... We are continuing from where we left off last time. So, yeah, last time I actually spent most of the video in the in the rocket bar. Uh, I actually didn't... I hadn't intended to spend almost the whole entire video just in the bar, but I guess I, I don't regret spending that time there because it does kind of form a centerpiece for the game. It is certainly the musical centerpiece of the game. I mean, it only has three musical acts, but this game... This game is a little bit short on music. It doesn't have a lot of memorable musical scenes, and... Um, so both, literally and figuratively, Yulin's Flats, and especially the bar, kind of forms a centerpiece for the game. Because we're about halfway through the game. We're probably actually, probably a little bit more than halfway through the game already. So, uh, you know, we're not in any rush. Might as well make it last. Um, okay, so, Droids BS is back there. We can buy a droid later. But first, let's go ahead and check out Tiny's used spaceships. Howdy, bucko! Can I understand in one of the finest little used spaceships in the galaxy? You look, like, you look like a man of discerning taste. This one, for instance, is just your speed. Uh, style, that is. This is quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mach 3. It was owned by a little old lady from Gla Glancidrome. You'll have to fly it to believe it. And she can be yours for only 99 buckazoids. One time offer only. Talk to me, friend. Alright, let's talk to him. I tell you, old buddy, 90, 99 buckazoids is as low as I can go on this baby. Alright. Impossible to miss is the incredibly rotund owner Tiny. The jaw jockey is most certainly an unusual looking being. He looks very much like a fish who has swallowed his fish bowl. So how about it, partner? Can I ask you anything here? Can we do business or what? I'm at your service. Talk to me, chief. Touching Tiny would be rude. However, you surmise from his scaly skin that he's probably about as slimy as his sales pitches. Something smells fishy about this sales being. Sushi, anyone? Nah, it looks like a tough cookie. Alright. What does he react to us giving him various things like the jetpack? Sorry, bud. How are you doing spaceships? Not itsy bitsy jetpacks. Oh, the itsy bitsy jetpack climbed up the water spout. That's real cute. Yeah, alright, alright. What if we just give him money without trying to buy anything? Oh, I think he'll probably sell us this spaceship if I give him money, so. Let's see, give him water. Thanks a bunch, guy. This planet really drives me out. I feel like a you-know-what out of water. What, did, did he just take it from us? Oh, he did. Oh, we, we just gave... Okay, we just gave him the water. All right. Hey, you, give me my, give me my water back. Yeah, I've heard about your kind likes... To, how your kind likes to skin my kind. If you only knew what we do to monkeys on my planet, you'd think twice about waving that little sticker in my direction. But hey, I'd still like to sell you something. What do you say? Alright, uh, let's take a look around. A small, sturdy office here, which unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. What is this white line here? Is that like a... Looks like a wiring conduit, I guess. Um, there's a sign here which indicates that this is Tiny's used spaceship lot. Fun fact, in the original version of this game, um, clicking on this sign, like looking at this sign would actually cause the text to shift. Like that... that animated text there would actually shift like 20 pixels to the right which was a bug that's also been fixed in this fan-made remake oh yeah speaking of the fan-made remake one thing that i forgot to mention about the bar um in a later version of this game zz top was actually replaced by their appearance was changed now i don't know how they found out i mean i don't think zz top plays computer games or played computer games but um Sierra got a letter from their let from their lawyer saying basically, you know, cease and desist. Basically, you you have to change uh, the appearance of ZZ Top in the game. So they actually changed them to they they made the singers really tiny. They're basically the same, but the singers are they made the singers so tiny that they were like four or five pixels tall. So you couldn't really tell that they were supposed to be you know the ZZ Top singers. And they turned the drummer into like a a pig nose kind of guy, kind of like the two guys from Andromeda. I I didn't even know that. I never realized that because I had the original version version of this game, which had, you know, the ZZ Top characters in it. it. There was a later release of this game, which, for legal reasons, changed it. But I had, I had never seen it until uh, until uh, after I released the previous video, and then I found out, oh, they made a version with the with the ZZ Top characters removed. But this fan-made patch restores the, restores the ZZ Top characters anyway, if you happen to have a version of the game which, uh, which doesn't have them. Anyway, all right, so, um, let's see. Who would paint their spaceship pink? Anyway, it looks as if Tiny's using this old beast as a source for parts. It definitely won't fly. 
Oh yeah, we saw this one on the other side there. Yeah, there are two ships in the northern part of Tiny's Youth Spaceship lot. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, we can check those out later, but for now... Let's see, can we... Uh... Oh, it's a stucco-style ship house. It responds not. Bad idea. Smells shippy. No thanks, I have to drive. All right, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy this thing. It's, uh, ships have appear to have quite a few kilo light years on them. This ship seems to have fins around its upper section. Quite a strange setup, but at least it's cheap. Cheap it is. All right. Sorry, you can only fly it when you buy it. Oh, by the way, there are no refunds either. Company policy. All right. For some reason, this ship smells like freshly dug dirt. Hmm, I wonder why. No wonder it smells like dirt. It also tastes like it. Well, with a ship that tastes like dirt, you know you can't go wrong. It has to be good if it smells and tastes like dirt. Let's go ahead and buy it. I tell you, I think you've made a wise decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. All right, thanks, Tiny. Nice doing business with you. Bye. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Well, good luck. Come again. You proudly climb into your new used spacecraft. There's definitely something unique about it. You turn the key excitedly. Well, that was unexpected. Drat, where did mom and dad go wrong? You be the judge. Hey. Hey, I clicked away that message before I had a chance to read it. That's unfortunate. I only clicked the mouse once, but somehow... Okay, that was weird. Well, basically he said... Uh, I mean, he said he said basically the same thing that he says in the original game, that, uh, whoa, I'm, I'm surprised. I never expected that. I've never seen it do that before. Well, sorry, I can't give you a refund, but I can give you credit on your next purchase. So we have a credit now on one of these two spaceships back here. Can we take the ladder? It's the ladder used to, abort, to climb aboard your mole ship. There's, there's no need for a ladder? Come on. I, mean, I know it's not Space Quest 3, but you can stick the ladder in your pocket and maybe use it later for something. There is a hole here. I'm sure you recall its origin. At the bottom is the fine craft you rode to glory in. There is no reason to explore the hole any further. The void does not answer. It smells like freshly dug dirt. It's dirt, man! Don't have a dirt, man! After carefully considering the whole matter, you decide not to throw anything down it. Okay. Alright, we're done here. Let's go ahead and check out these ships in the back. Hey, fellow, wait up. So long as you're headed in that direction, why don't you let me show you my other fun spacecraft? No obligation whatsoever to you, pal. Just trying to be helpful to one in need. What's that red thing on its back? Looks Is that a... Oh, I guess it's some kind of natural... I don't know. Now, just take a gander at these beauties, sport. If you see one you like, just give a hoot. I'll stand right over here. No pressure. Absolutely none. All right, what about this one? It's awfully small and also much older than you. Don't let appearances fool you. This baby may be a relic, I mean a classic, but she's as dependable as the day we got her. And just think, you'll be the only one in the you'll be the only one in the quadrant with one. I guarantee it. She's the beauty, isn't she? This little baby can do a spin around the planet in just under an hour. Look at the lines in that bodywork. They just don't make them like this anymore, know what I mean? And she's a real bargain at 185 buckazoids. Of course, minus your 70 buckazoid credit, that would come to 115 buckazoids. Yeah, yeah, no pressure, absolutely none. I can't taste the ship. All right. Can't taste the rainbow. All right, how many buckets? Oh, yeah, we have more than enough buckets to buy this one. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this one, then. If I had a bucket for every time I heard that. I tell you, she's made a right... You've made a right decision. She's a beauty. Yeah, yeah, keys are in the ignition. Okay. Oh, now he leaves. Last time he stuck around to watch us... Uh, I guess because he knew that the the ship would burrow itself into the ground, and so he knew we'd come right back out, but now he knows that we will not be coming back from this journey, so... Alright, let's go ahead and take a ride in the ship we just bought. Whoops! Darn the luck! You've crashed in the dunes and ended your life. The various inhabitants of the Cronian Desert are now feasting on your remains. Guess that wasn't such a hot purchase. Well, I guess it was pretty hot when it blew up. Probably generated a lot of heat for a while. All right, so... I mean, you folks know the... You folks know the deal here, so... 
what you do is you ignore those two ships and you buy the one in the back because that's the only use really usable ship. So you walk up to it. Well, there's a man with a good eye. This here is the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere. Top of the line, handles like a charm, perfect for cruising the asteroid fields. And she's got all the thrust a guy could need. Um, I think I, I prefer to be the one with the thrust when I'm with a lady, sir. I tell you, she's an outright steal at 214 buckazoids. Now just take a gander, yeah, no pressure, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... Actually, this ship is not bad looking. It appears to be a Dralian cruiser. They have a reputation for quickness and reliability. You're surprised that someone of tiny's caliber will be carrying it. Yeah, he's not lying. This is the top of the line. We need this ship. So let's go ahead and buy it. I tell you, I think you made a... Yeah, yeah, he says the same thing as always. Oh, by the way, you're gonna need a droid to help you fly that thing. Well, good luck. Come again. And he leaves, finally. Thank goodness. Alright. Now we can get into our ship. Seated in the cruiser, you notice there are no controls within reach, just a button marked Load Nav Droid. Tiny must have been serious when he said you would need a droid to fly this thing. And since you're currently droidless, there seems to be nothing else to do but climb out. Indeed. We cannot fly the ship without a droid. And where do we go for droids? Obviously we go to Droids Be Us. Oh yeah, we can talk to this robot too. He's a very old model, somebody who looks tired and depressed. Do not touch me! Carbon-based life forms are notoriously filthy creatures. Everyone knows that they veritably ooze with metal tarnishing agents. That is true, actually. The metals, the natural metals in your skin will actually corrode metal if, uh, if you touch metal sometimes. Some certain metals. Although, you'd think they'd make this robot out of metals that resist corrosion from human skin oils. It's easy for you to be cheerful, isn't it? You don't have deteriorating flabber thrusters. Oh, I think I might, sir. You don't know my problems. You don't know the trouble I've seen. What do you want now? I was just about finished with my internal diagnostics check, and I'm going to have to recalibrate my photoelectric scanner membranes and begin all over again. Carbon-based life forms can be so trying sometimes. If you haven't purchased a robot, I have nothing for you. Now go away. Oh, how depressing. Let's begin again from the start and proceed very slowly. I do not want to be disturbed. You are disturbing me. Go away. Thank you so much. I'm ignoring you. I'm still ignoring you. I think, yeah. He just... He just keeps saying I'm still ignoring you at this point. That's... Alright, that's the end of that. So like a fine grade of light machine oil. You're expecting a high, kar high karate. Hi! Why on earth or Corona, for that matter, would you want to do that? Well, you know, it's an adventure game. You try different things. Let's give him some money. Oh, he's not allowed to accept tips. I'm programmed to defend myself against all attacks. Even against such a laughable attempt at destruction as this, it would be a shame to expend the energy required to kill you, don't you agree? Yes, I thought you would. All right, yeah, we can't really do much with this guy. He just kind of, I mean, he literally just stands there. Uh, like, even if you order a droid, he doesn't, like, you don't have to do anything with him because the droid is going to come out here by itself anyway. All right, let's go inside and see what droids there are. Greetings, sir. Allow me to show you our fine line of robots, otherwise known as droids. We have a wide variety of work-saving, life-enhancing, shiny new factory-fresh technological wonders of modern engineering wizardry. However, I can see that we would be more, ah, uh, interested in our line of economy-priced used robots, wouldn't we? Please observe our robot preview screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I love this music, by the way. This is one of the examples why I actually prefer the ad-lib music in these games to the MT-32. A lot of people will sing the praises of the MT-32 and say it, it sounds so much better, but the MT-32 version of this music, it just... It doesn't sound nearly as good in my opinion. It doesn't have that sort of boop sound. You know, with every beat there's that boop, boop, boop. And 
and that makes a huge difference. That really makes the sound very, it makes it sound very chirpy and perky. The MT32 version doesn't have that, it just has like a very, it just has the basic melody and it doesn't sound nearly as good, it's, it's not nearly as embellished. Anyway, before we look at the robots, let's look at whom we're dealing with here. The sales book appears to be a ch ch Chidnarian, a race renowned for their predatory sales techniques. You decide to count your fingers once you've completed your transaction. Please, sir, violence is never the answer. Money, on the other hand, is almost always the answer. Hey, they disabled smell and taste here. Why would they do that? Seems a good place to do it. Some sort of gigantic diaphragm. All right. Ooh, it's an Ultron 17, the only robot bad enough to go head-to-head -head with an Ar Arnoid 1000 exterminator. You know with relief that this appears to be out of commission, at least temporarily. That's an upgrade option for the Arnoid series. It's capable of crushing a person's skull. Very useful if you're in that line of work. I guess we can't take that. The plaque says, Sales Bug of the Year. You'd better watch your money around this guy. All right, so... Plastoid letters on the wall spell out droids BS. So it's very simple. This monitor here cycles through the various models of robot that they sell here. And if you're interested in one, you can talk to this guy and he'll tell you about them. Now, um, <clears throat> a lot of these robots are references to science fiction movies or things like that. And I probably would not have caught most of them, but uh, one of my viewers was kind enough to send me a, uh, a cheat sheet, basically a list of all the, the robots and what they're references to. So let's see. Max 42 is... Gosh, this, this screen changes so fast that it's kind of hard to keep up. That Nav 201, that's the navigation droid that we need. FB001, that is Robbie the Robot from the Forbidden Planet. DevTech is a, uh, a battle mech from Battletech. Murage is, um, I believe that's from the Gundam series. Um, Dalek, this of course is a Dalek from Doctor Who. Hayo, uh, that's, that is from Castle in the Sky, it's an anime, uh, and the name is a reference to ha Hayao Miyazaki, the writer and director of Castle in the Sky. All right, as I said, this is the Robbie the Robot from DevTech, is, that's a battle mech from Battletech. YX-10, this is the robot from Lost in Space. This is, yeah, from Gundam. Sucks. I don't think this is from anything, it just sucks. This too, I think this is just, uh, yeah, not based on anything. That's again a dollar from Doctor Who. Like I said, Castle in the Sky. Max 42, this is uh, from a Disney movie called The Black Hole. And I have no idea what that Rock 2000 thing. That nav droid, that's the nav droid that we need. Okay, we've seen all the robots now. I've explained what they are. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy about them now. So, let's see. This is Lost in Space. This model was originally designed as a family companion on those long space vacations. However, the manufacturer had to discontinue it due to a psychological disorder. Whenever it gets excited, it waves its arms around wildly and yells, Danger! Danger! Yes, because the robot from Lost in Space was known for doing that. Danger! Danger! Will Robinson. If you can live with the paranoia, though, it makes a great babysitter. And if you've got kids, you'll appreciate its low, low price of six ninety-eight dollars or 5 dollars with a coupon. Oh yeah, I need to remember to give this guy my coupon. Alright. This is from an anime. Ah, yes, a truly beautiful piece of machinery. This design rates five stars. Although, the hands although a handsome machine, this robot has a habit of killing people without any real reason. I'd love to sell you one, but every last one I had was, was snapped up by a movie director from New Japan 4. Sorry because anime. The brand name says it all. Sucks is a major manufacturer of refrigerators, dishwashers, and someday even time machines. I just happen to have one in the, uh, one of these in stock. It's been completely reconditioned since, since its regrettable accident that took the lives of... But of course you wouldn't want to hear about that. Yes, this dandy compact unit goes for a mere 29 bucks or 23, 23 with coupon. You can't go wrong when it sucks. These little robots are perfect for gardening chores, and they don't mind at all if they're away on space missions for centuries. Yes, sir, they may, look like, they may look like Kleenex boxes, but they're built to run a long time. And quiet? You bet. We've got a set of three. You can have them all for just 999 bucks away, or nine with a coupon. So these really high prices we can never afford. You can have a maximum of like 300 and something bucks away in the game, so we will never have enough money to be able to afford these things. Um, this model has earned a bad rep. Unearned, if you ask me. They're just a wee bit too ambitious, is all. And who of us isn't? 
It's quite an endearing quality, actually. However, we're fresh out of them right now. Nobody seems to survive long enough to trade them in. These are some of the most useful all-purpose robots around, and extremely good with children. Of course, they're all in hibernation this time of the century. Just 975 bucks, always 700 with a coupon. Yeah, alright. So... This is one of my better at bodyguard models, and also doubled as a radial arm saw. If it had one fault, it was probably a tendency to be overzealous. It's no longer available except for demolition purposes. Okay, his memory isn't the best, we'll let you have him for five, just 512 bucks, always for the coupon. These robots have a bad attitude. You've got to keep them in line or they'll walk all over you. Uh, well, maybe you shouldn't cons shouldn't consider this particular model. That's the Naftroid we need. It's ideal for flight systems operations. It'll pilot any modern freighter or cruiser, and it's one of the most experienced droids we carry. Only 45 bucazoids, or 36 with a coupon. I got it from some gambling type who is required to pay up or perish. How much money do we have? Oh, we have 48. Oh, we can actually buy the, the Naftroid now. Okay. This is an all-purpose household model. It cooks, sews, does windows, and brows, brews a little moonshine on the side. I have only one left, and I put him to work in the warehouse. Oh, that's the that's the robot sitting outside. Yeah. Well, we can't we can't afford him. Ah, this model is one of my personal favorites. It was reduced. It was produced exclusively for droids BS by a small planet who used these mechanical warriors to fight their battles. That race killed themselves off, however, and spare parts are nearly impossible to find. Don't bother haggling, this one's worth 50, 55 bucks always for the parts alone. That would be 46 bucks always with a coupon. Okay. Okay, so we've talked to him about all the robots now. Let's let's try and buy the ones that he uh, that he hasn't named some insanely high price for. Let's see, can I try to give him money for this one? Sorry, but I've I've sold my last one of those. Alright. Oh yeah, this one we can buy. Alright, let's go ahead and buy this. You may pick up your purchase at our convenient Droids VS pickup area, located just out the door and to your right. Hello, sir. Your new robot will be here in a moment. Hey, there's our new robot! Woohoo! Oh my, another shredded customer. I suppose someone will be upset about this. Why do I bother? You seem to have had trouble maintaining your composure, n composure not to maintain, not to mention your molecular molecular structure. Get yourself together. Unfortunately, you're, only, you're the universe's only hope. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading too fast. There's there's a lot of text that I'm reading, and I don't want to spend too much time reading it, so I'm kind of stumbling through it. I'm sorry. Oh, you know, what? I didn't save after I bought the ship. Okay, that's fine. We can we can buy the ship reasonably quickly. We can, uh... Let's just go through this quickly, and, uh... Yeah, so there's the ship. Yeah, yeah, 214 Buckazoids. Shut up so I can give you my money. Alright, there we go. So we bought the ship. Okay, and actually, since we're down to 48 Buckazoids... Let's just go ahead and top up a little bit. I mean, we don't really need... After we, after we buy the droid, we won't need any more money in this game. But let's just top up our money just a little bit since we have the chance to do so. Let's just go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Grab a little bit... Uh, a little bit extra. Okay, we have already 100. Okay, that's, that's more than enough. That will be more than enough. So... Let's, and actually, let's go ahead and save here. Time to buy a droid. All right, so let's see now. Yeah, yeah, so where did we leave off? So last time we bought uh, that sucks robot. I don't think this one, hold on. What does this one cost? Let's, okay, let's do them in order. Let's do them in order. So we bought, we bought this one. What about this one? This one costs... Yeah, okay, we, we don't have 900 or 800 buckazoids. Uh, okay. They don't have any of these. Yeah, we have none of those in stock. Alright. How much does this one cost? Okay, way too much. Also costs way too much. Can't afford that. Let's... 
see. I'm sorry, sir, but my conscience just just won't let me sell them to you. Besides, your next of kin might sue. I don't know if Roger has a next of kin, but uh, all right, nice nice of you to think ahead. Oh, this is the one we actually need. Okay, I'll buy this one last. Oh, pardon me for saying so, sir, but we don't appear to have enough money for our purchase now, do we? You could fill out one of our credit applications, although I seriously doubt that you would qualify. Oh, we can buy this one. You, you may pick up your purchase at our... Okay, all right. We bought... Here's your incredibly complex robots. So I sprained my ther thermodiodinal tricycler carrying it out here for you. I hope you're satisfied. And if you're smarter than you look, or, or you know, you're, you'll never be able to put it together. How depressing. Great. Three boxes of robot parts sporting large signs which read, Caution, this product contains explosive parts, not intended for children under three. Unfortunately, you aren't smarter than you look, so you'd best leave the, the incredibly complex robot parts alone before you hurt yourself. Too bad they don't give rebates to retrobates. But if you try again... Hold on, can we smell this stuff? Or taste it? You can tell this is definitely out of your league. You can't even open the box as much less assemble what's inside. But let's try it again. Well, okay. If you really feel competent enough to assemble, to assemble this thing, just do it. Start with the smallest box. <clears throat> Whoops. Guess this was a bit beyond your capabilities. Speaking of bits, that's about all that, that's about all that remains of you. Hope you can re regroup those molecules and get back to the game. All right. All right, so let's see. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So we bought we, ju we just bought this one. I think we tried to buy this one and he said it's too expensive. All right. Okay, so we've tried to buy all of them except the one we actually need. So let's go ahead and give him the coupon. The DBU coupon for Droids BS. Okay, entitles us to a reduction of 20% in the price of any of our fine previously owned droids. Alright, so now let's just get the uh, the money ready, and when the nav droid shows up, we'll just buy it. Here it is. Hello, sir. He, your new robot will be here in a moment. Well, there he is, sir. Programmed to follow you around like a whimpering little puppy dog. How humiliating. Hey, he's a cute little guy. Your new pilot droid appears to be a bit dinged up, but functional. You hope that he knows more about piloting a spaceship than you do. Although small, the NAV-201 is surprisingly heavy. You don't think he'll be able to lift it. The droid emits a cheerful chirp, but has nothing further to say right now. Fortunately, he bought it as a pilot, not as a conversationalist. Nothing like the smell of a new used droid. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? Like many things in your experience, it looks better than it tastes. All right. All right, I think we're done. We bought the droid that we need. We bought um, the spaceship that we need. There is nothing left to do except uh, load the droid into the spaceship and uh, take off. So um, let's see, how long has this video been? I think we're probably, uh, yeah, it's probably a good point to stop the video. So, um, I'll just go ahead and say we are ready for takeoff. And that'll be it. Next time we will take off in our new ship with our new droid and see where uh, where the journey takes us uh, further in the exciting adventures of Space Quest 1, the Syrian encounter. Until then, thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.